is Lauren. I am the Lolo behind Lolo Did It, a hand-dyed yarn business in central Kentucky. And I am going to talk to you today about stitch markers and notions cases. I have actually been using a specific notions case for the past year or so, and I haven't talked about it at all, but it is one of my favorite things ever um, that I have ever purchased, and it cost me like $5, so I cannot wait to share it with you. I have, so this this happened a while ago, so I have been looking for the like the perfect stitch mar marker case, I have used the little fabric pouches that different project bag people offer. I have used clear pouches, um, silicone reusable pouches. I have used um, just little tins, which I do sell on my shop, little tins. And then um, somebody in my Mighty Networks community said that they use the DelaQ notions box this notions box is by delic and it also says madeline tosh and you can get it from jimmy bean wool hi Teresa. hi meg so this box totally intrigued me when people told me about notions boxes because i was looking for some people recommended this to me they thought oh lauren you would love this and this is I don't remember how much it is but it was it was pretty pricey i would say around 40 dollars um for me anyways i thought that was expensive for a notions pouch but if this is the notions pouch to end all notions pouches then i was going to get one so i bought this yes jen that's awesome so i bought this and this is what it looks like so i thought i'd share with you what this is before you buy it this is the uh delic and it is a totally empty box. It does not have any organization in it, but what it does have is it is magnetic. So that is the one feature that I do really like about this. It is magnetic. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Deanna. Thanks for joining me. I'm talking about Notions pouches. So this DeliQ Notions pouch is, and it it's pretty big. I mean, like, it's big in my hand. So... I bought this, I used this for approximately a month, taking it with me on my car trips. Um, I do a lot of knitting in the car. We <laughs> we go to Lexington pretty often um, to meet up with friends uh, and go out to eat and things like that. And so that's 45 minutes in the car each way, which is awesome for knitting time. But that means I need to have a good organizer for my notions. So I use this for about a month, but at the end of the day, I didn't really like it because it didn't have any organization. When I opened it in the car, everything literally was open, you know, so it's going to go places. I dropped a lot of stitch markers. I'm still finding stitch markers in my car. And even with the magnetic, it didn't seem to do the job like I thought it would do. So I stopped using this a long time ago, probably eight months ago. And so if you are in the market, now that I have said I don't really like this Notions pouch, but a lot of people probably do uh, because it's really popular. I uh, Tons of people have recommended it to me. So because of that, I'm going to be giving this away in my N Mighty Networks community today. So if you are not in my Mighty Networks community, you should totally join. You can go to lolodidit.mn.co and join there. It's free for any lolodidit.com customer and have fun with us. The perks are you can see the calendar of events. So anything that I'm posting on our website or our knit alongs or anything like that is all posted in our calendar. And you can also share your whips your squishy mail and your FOs that are Lolo did it yarn. So it's a really fun way to get inspired and keep up to date and on what's going on in Lolo did it. So I'll be giving this away today on that, but I wanted to show you. Hi, Stephanie. 
she uses empty mint tins. Yes. So I wanted to show you what I actually use. I found this eight months ago and because it's been eight months of success and I actually just bought a second one. Um, because it's been eight months of success, I thought I'd share with you because I don't think I'm ever going to change what I'm doing. So and I bought a second one. So I bought a second one for myself, but I also bought a second one for Mighty Network. So I'll have two giveaways going on today if you would like to join over there. Tell me below what, if you're in comments or in, you're in a chat, tell me below what you use for your Notions pouches because tons of people... Uh, have different ways that they put their notions and I'm just one person you know so I'm just just sharing what I do that's a fun needles box yes so I'll be giving away this one and I'll be giving away also the one that I personally use so let me share with you what I personally use this is a five dollar pill case from Amazon and I will again once this is published I'll put the link below in Amazon it'll be a, an affiliate link so I'll get um, a little commission if you decide to purchase it through my link. But this Notions pouch is freaking amazing because I have all of my different stitch markers in each section that I use for different things. I can fit a little tiny scissors in there. I have a little tiny tape measure. Let me show you the um, the tape measure, what I did. So I bought the the tape measure from it's just like a tailor plastic tape measure but I cut it to be only 12 inches long so that I can use it for my socks so I love this so I roll this up and I put it in my pillbox notions keeper and have it all the time same thing with my little scissors same thing with my darning needles. They fit. These are this these gold ones are the chibi darning needles and I do actually carry these on my website. And they do fit. I also have the little key to tighten my interchangeable needles for Chiaogu. I have those on my website. <laughs> and then and then all of my different stitch markers. The only types of stitch markers that I carry on my website are the Edison bulbs ones, which are these right here but all of the other stitch markers I've collected over the years because I use them for different reasons so I have the Edison bulb ones which are probably the ones that I use absolutely the most I have the Coco knits ones that are magnetic I about have about half of them in here they fit so many I think I have 20 depends on which stitch marker one I have I have tons of the Edison bulb ones in this one so I think I have 20 in each little tiny container. So that's a lot. That's a lot of stitch markers. And in this one, this is the one that I keep at home. So I decided because I was traveling with this one, and this one needed, you know, a tape measure, scissors, darning needle, you know, interchangeable needles, and some stitch markers. But I didn't need a million stitch markers. Most of the time, I am traveling with a sock. Um, or a smaller project. So I didn't need a ton of stitch markers, but I needed the tools. So this is my traveling case. And then, because I loved it so much, and I have been minimizing. So if you did not know that, if you haven't been following me for a while over on Mighty Networks, I have been decluttering the snot out of my house. And I've been minimizing all of the things that I need and use. So I didn't need... 400 little baggies um, and different cases of all of these different stitch markers in the course of eight months I have not used more than what is in here so in my home one and then of course my my travel one so I have not used mo any more than what I have in these two little boxes and so I have been able to simplify what my knitting space looks like, which is so much less stressful. I'm getting so much done. I was just counting. I got nine finished projects done that are just socks. And I have also finished a sweater in that amount of time it just since the beginning of the year. So that is pretty impressive by minimizing all of the stuff. So this little box has everything that I need. And I love it. 
And I had to share it with you because I was just so, I've been telling my husband this every time I pull out my little knitting pill box and I start knitting, I'm like, Trey, I just love this. This is just so smart. I'm so glad I did it. And he's like, he's like, that is smart. You should tell other people. And I was like, I should. <laughs> so let's see what you guys are saying. Um, Magnet says, I use a small flimsy fabric bag that came in one of my knitting bags and some small plastic baggies. Yeah, I have used that too. I have used like little, just a little baggies. Um, I've used little snack Ziploc bags. I have used, I did like the, um, there are like little silicone bags that you can get on Amazon that are for pills, which actually this is how I got to this, you know, progression. There's little silicone reusable bags that I got for pills. The problem was is that I wanted to separate the different types because there's some, like my Edison bulb markers I use for counting the rows. My little tiny stitch markers I use for marking where my decreases are. And these stitch markers I use for marking anything like my on my sweaters. And so I use these for different reasons. So I wanted them to have separation. So because of that, I had multiple little silicone packages. And so I like this because I literally can snap this and stick it in my purse and I'm good to go. So I bought one for Mighty Networks. This one is empty, but I will totally put some stitch markers in here. So uh, this one I will be giving away later today on Mighty Networks. So I love it. So I bought an extra one just in case you guys needed one. So that should be so fun. So once this video is published, go check out the link below and I'll take it directly to the exact same one that I have so that you know, because I, I did buy some different ones that look exactly the same, but actually didn't hold up as well. Um, when I was trying to buy my second one because I wanted a different color, of course. And um, and these ones actually work the best. Have you seen the square stitch markers? They are great for lace and don't sneak as yarn over. Yes, I have some of those. I have some square ones. Here, I'll show you. I don't remember where I bought these from, probably from a show. Most of my little notions come from a show, but I have this. And I also have, oh, you know what? I actually bought these. I bought these and put these in a Christmas box a while ago, quite a few Christmases ago, but the square ones, yeah, these are so fun. I really like those. Um... And the other ones that I really like, I got these from a show too. These are really, really tiny and they're perfect for socks. But I don't know what the name of the person is. They're just really small. I love these. So, but most of them are the Edison bulb ones because that's literally what I use. If I can't find anything else, I use an Edison bulb one. Um, so that is, that's my share of the day of things that I really like. This is my favorite thing. And then this is all I use. So I don't have anything else. All of my excess stitch markers I've been giving away to friends who've been taking up knitting and things like that. So I don't really need more than this. Yes, I'll probably lose my stitch markers and eventually need to buy more stitch markers. Um, but it's gonna take me a while to get through those. So I hope this helps you, yes. I hope this helps you. The pillbox looks really cool. Yeah. And Deanna said it's awesome. Thank you guys so much. So that is my stitch marker share. Again, I will be posting these in the community so that you have access to them and to the giveaway. It should be really, really fun. So I'll tell you a little bit more about what's going on in the community. Right now we have our Q2 sweater knit along. And the theme is a lightweight sweater. So anything, whether it's got short sleeves or it's knit in fingering weight or sport weight, we are all knitting lightweight sweaters. There are a few of us who are knitting the salty tee, which is really cute. I love the salty tee, so I think that's what I'm going to be knitting. I also just finished my Rebel Rebel by Truly Myrtle, and a few people are going to be knitting that. And I think that, that, I, that it's such a cute sweater. I showed it, I think, two podcasts ago so you should check it out 
And we also upped all of the things that are in our plus membership. So I told you earlier that our community is free to any lolodata.com customer, but our plus membership is $9.99 a month, or you can do an annual um, subscription. And we have Zooms every week. We have a book club. We're reading Killers of the Flower Moon this month. We have the sweater knit along going on. We have two challenges every month, the weekend sock challenge and the hat challenge. And we just added a sweater resource section and a socks resource. I can talk. The sweater resource section and the sock resource section and a help me section. So those are all in the plus community. It's fantastic. We have a lot of people in there. They are a wealth of knowledge. Um, if they can't help out, we all work together to find a solution. It's it's so wonderful. It's uplifting. Everybody is so kind. It's just a wonderful place in our little corner of the internet to go if you are a Lolo Did It fan or a, you know, generally a, a knitter or a yarn fan because in the Plus membership, you do not have to use Lolo Did It yarn if you don't want to, if you have stash. In the regular membership that's free to Lolo Did It Don Cod customers, it is Lolo Yarn only. So another perk, if you have a large stash and not a lot of Lolo Yarn, but you've been wanting to join in, totally join us in the Plus membership. So what's new? I am going to show you all the things that are new and retiring and coming soon. So what is new today is there is no try. This is one of our Star Wars colorways that just came out today it was re-released today and it won't be here for very long i i think it's retiring right after may the 4th so our star wars colorway collection is coming so i have four more colorways coming out in the next couple of weeks that are all star wars themed that I, i've had before but these are the ones that you guys wanted the most these are the ones that if you messaged me and asked for them or you private messaged me in the community you asked me, if you guys asked for them, I am releasing them. So the top ones that were requested. So the first one is There Is No Try. That's this one. And it's a gray with black speckles and lots of the colorful neon rainbow speckles. We do also have our Star Wars box. I have died two rounds of the Star Wars box. We've sold out of two rounds of it. I put up a third round, but this round is going to ship on April 26th, not on April 19th. But that was so we could actually accomplish it if you wanted to get it. It cuts it a little bit close for getting it for May the 4th, but if you want the Star Wars box, that is where to go. It's six new colorways that are inspired by the galaxy, and they are gray, black, navy blue, like really dark midnight blue with neon speckles, very colorful speckles. So that is the Star Wars themed box. So if you like something like this, you'll probably like the Star Wars box. If you like May the 4th Be With You, I think I have that over here. May the 4th Be With You, this is black and gray with all of the colorful speckles. Um, if you like these types of colors, you probably will like the Star Wars box. Just add a lot of midnight blue in there. So this is, this, there is no try, just came out today. And I am also re-releasing two tonal colors that have been retired for a while. I don't know how long, maybe two years, that these two colorways have been retired. But they're back. So this is Shaboom which is a very light aqua, and this is Princess Peach, which is a very light peach color. And they're both back for the spring. So they will be retiring at the end of spring, but they are back for a short time on all of our yarn bases. You can also order the, these on our spinning fiber if you would like. They're always been, they've always been available on our Little Lolos, the original and USATK bases. So they've always been available on our minis, but they have not been available for a long time on full skeins. So these have come back and only for spring. 
the ones that are retiring are I Heart Rick and I Heart Michonne, which of course I'm so sad about. They're so two of my very favorite characters from The Walking Dead. I we're we've been watching for the past two weeks the ones who live the new series with Rick and Michonne, and I love it. I am so glad these guys are um, doing a show again. I absolutely have been enjoying it, and that's bringing back all of my The Walking Dead. I love it. So those two are retiring this weekend, and then there's more Star Wars coming soon. So let me show you those. These are the four colors that will be released in the next few weeks. This is That's No Moon. This is Laugh It Up Fuzzball. May the 4th be with you. And I find your lack of faith to be disturbing. So all four of these are coming out in the next few weeks. I know. And then they'll be retiring shortly after. So all of our Star Wars are not hanging out for a very long time. So make sure to get them while they're available. Keep an eye on our newsletter. There's a link below if you want to join our newsletter. The community has everything. It does have a schedule of when things come out. Um, I don't post it like super far in advance, but I do make sure that you guys know so that you can plan your purchases or what's retiring so that you can plan those. And I do also try to spread out releases so that you can get what you want and you can decide what you want. So that's how we do it. You can buy all of these new colorways on all of the, all of our yarn bases. Stephanie asked, will Revenge of the Fifth come back? Not this year. I'm so sad, but I know you've been using it. Didn't you knit a whole sweater for your son? I think that you did. I, I love Revenge of the Fifth, but not this year. I don't have that one coming out. So maybe next year. I need more people. You guys have to, if you want things, you have to let me know because every time you guys mention a colorway and you're like, I would love to see this back, I make sure to write it down. You need one more to finish. Oh my gosh, Stephanie. Oh man. Okay. I, I'm I'm not gonna release it, but I'll message you, Stephanie. <laughs> so another advantage of being a plus member is I'll I'll talk to you guys. I'll make sure to talk to you. So that's it. I think that's it. We've got everything. Let me know in the comments below what you love, your options for your notions pouches. Um a anything and all of those resources of things that we like and don't like in our notions pouches the our favorite tools that is awesome i would love to hear all of that because i'm always looking for getting something more so getting something that helps me make the things that i really want to make so i will talk to you guys later uh we have a zoom next week if you'd like to join us in the community i'd love to have you that's Mostly where all of the chit chat and all of the things happen. So I will talk to you soon. I love y'all so much. Have a great weekend. Bye.